Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. My name is Julie and on Thrill Thrifter today, I'm gonna be showing you some thrifted pieces that I have thrifted through the year that I'm gonna use in my Christmas decor. So everything that you're gonna see today is for my Christmas decor. Now there are a few pieces that I showed at the end of the Christmas season last year and I bought them so late, I did not get a chance to put them out in my decor. So just as a little refresher, I am gonna throw in a few of those pieces as well. But everything else I'm gonna show you is things that I have thrifted throughout the year to use in my decor. So without further ado, let's get started and let me show you all of these items that I have previously shown in my thrifting videos. But I thought I would make one dedicated video with just all of the things that I've thrifted over the last year to use in my 2023 Christmas decor. So this piece here is a beautiful tablecloth and I thrifted this not too long ago and it is a round tablecloth and it is a beautiful. I already have this in place y'all. It is gorgeous where I put it and hint for you here, it is not being used as a tablecloth. <laughs> Y'all know I like to buy things and use them in different places than from what they were intended. So next up is this, um, I have several of these that I thrifted through the year, tablecloth. So here's another tablecloth right here. Now I do have a green and white gingham, I'll insert a clip here, tablecloth that's cloth that I also thrifted this year but it's already hanging up and being used as a shower curtain for the Christmas season and I did not want to take it down and unhook it from all of those little hooks so I'm just going to insert a clip here of that one and then this red one here this one's kind of small you would think it would be big but it's not so I think that I'm just going to use this to drape over a chair or the end of a bed or over my ottoman something like that so this is a beautiful thrifted tablecloth here. This tablecloth also came with four napkins. Now I'm not giving prices or anything on this stuff because I've already showed these things in a haul with the prices. Um, so if you want prices, I guess just go back and watch my playlist of thrifting videos. I don't know. Now I also got another, I was on a tablecloth kick y'all. So I got this beautiful red check tablecloth here that I thought I might use as a shower curtain as well but it would not fit. So I'm gonna use this in the same way as I said I was gonna use the other one, probably you know, over a chair, over the end of the bed, or something like that. So this beautiful um, red check tablecloth, and I love the colors of this one right here. I know it's gonna look brighter on film than it is in person, but I love this kind of red for my country Christmas decor. And then another little primitive Christmas linen is this just little napkin. I thought that this was adorable, very primitive looking, and it'll look cute layered or sticking out of something. I do remember I got this one at a Goodwill. It is this beautiful quilt. So this is one side of the quilt, and then this is the other. And I got this with Christmas in mind. I'll try to open it up where you can see it better. But yeah, it is just this beautiful, and it's um, probably like just a smaller size, maybe not a kid size quilt, but a little bit bigger than that. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it like this, or if I'm just going to use the green side. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I don't have some of these linens in place yet, as I have just kind of started decorating. I'm putting this video, oh, wait a minute, back up. I'm filming this video um, a few days before Halloween. So some things I have in place and some things I do not. Okay, along the lines of linens is I got this beautiful little primitive pillow here and it actually has a hook. I just got this very recently at a garage sale and I think that it is just sweet and cute, very adorable. A lot of the things that I purchased throughout the year, I will put them in a cardboard box so that I can film and know what I bought um, throughout the year. But a couple of things I did buy either right at the end of Christmas or after Christmas, so I cannot remember if I filmed these things here. So I do want to go ahead and show y'all that some of the things that I thrifted either right at the end of the Christmas year um, and I didn't get a chance to show y'all, or if I did, I don't remember. So we're just going to include them in this video anyway. It was just a couple of these little treat boxes here, still brand new in the package. I thrifted those. I can't remember where. 
and then I think I did show y'all this but I'm gonna show you anyway because it was like my it's like one of my favorite books that I've thrifted for Christmas I love the green color on this I think that it is gorgeous actually I think I did show y'all this because I think I put this out during Christmas last year but who who cares y'all y'all want to see it again this was a thrifted book and it is gorgeous another thrifted book it's fun to look at these recipes and all of these pictures and then of course the polar express for all the babies when they come over and this little book here and I do believe that I showed most of those books last year but I can't remember so I just wanted to include them very quickly now two more items that I did purchase I think at the very end of the Christmas season last year um, but I just put them in storage because I knew that I was going to make them over before this Christmas I didn't even put them out in my decor last year so that's why I wanted to include them here it is this box here that says Merry Christmas that is it is so cute it is just this box here with all of these little wooden pieces but i do not like how these all look so i'm going to just paint these all one color it's just a bunch of blocks that say merry christmas and i got these for a dollar 99 you can see here on the box what it looks like but i think i'm going to paint it um and then distress it a little bit and see if i can find a spot for those i thought that those were really really fun and if I cannot find a spot to style these and I just really don't like them, I'm still going to paint them either a black or an off-white, something like that. Or I'm going to turn it where you can't... I'm just sitting here showing down here like y'all can even see what I'm doing. So hold on. Let me show you what I'm going to use these for and it'll make sense. Let me show you the next item because words are hard for me sometimes when I get excited. So... A lot of y'all probably remember these because a lot of y'all still talk about the Santas around the world that I thrifted last year. Let me show y'all. I got these towards the end of the year last year. I do remember that. I did not have a place to style them because, again, I already had all my Christmas stuff out. I just really didn't feel like moving things around to fit them in. I paid $5.99 this whole box of Santas around the world. It is every one of them. Let me see if I can get the brightness down on this camera. It is every one of these Santas from around the world. And I love them. And I think I'm going to place these um, probably on my hutch in my schoolroom. And the idea that I think I'm going to do, if I don't like the way these blocks turn out or if I can't find anywhere to put them, I think what I'm going to do is on that hutch, I'll just take this little sticker off right here. I'll, you know, maybe leave the red part showing. I don't know. I'll do it something where you can't see this. And then I may use these little blocks to kind of, see, I don't like that because the reds don't match because I'm, I'm really weird about that kind of stuff. I had to put my glasses on because I don't think this is focusing for y'all. Okay, there we go. You see how the reds are different? Ah, y'all, I just, I cannot. That will bother me. So... So yeah, these will have to get painted. But my thoughts were I could, you know, so the Santas are not all just sitting there in a row, the same height, you know. I could do do one like this and then maybe put two or three blocks together and another one on top and just kind of like, I don't know, scatter them a little different just so they're not just boring looking, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that's my idea for those there. So while we're on the subject of, you know, making some of these things over and painting and doing different stuff like that, well, I wanted to remind y'all of this beautiful little wooden nativity set that I got at the Goodwill. This was after Christmas, so everything else you're going to see now is from purchases of 2023. Here's the rest of the pieces right here. Y'all, and I think this is the cutest thing. The only problem that this one had was this piece right here. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to kind of sand that down because I'm going to paint this whole set. This set even had baby Jesus, y'all. And if you are a thrifter, then you know that when you find a nativity set at the thrift store, half the time baby Jesus is missing. Yes, I'm going to take this beautiful set here and give it a paint job so I can find a place for it. And I'm sure I'll find somewhere for it to go. Once it's painted, I think I'll like it better. I just don't like the colors. So yes, I'm all into the wood pieces this year anyway. 
for my Christmas decor and so I think that I'll like that once it's painted. Okay, let's move along to a few little kitchen pieces. I got this little gingerbread pan to prop up in my kitchen somewhere. Found this beautiful plate that I thought maybe I could put a plate hanger on and hang this on the wall or something somewhere in my kitchen. I don't know. I just think that it is gorgeous. So I got that. Two brass angel candlesticks. I think that these are gorgeous. The little miniature Santa kids. These are very recent. I got this Borden's American Cheese box. <laughs> I honestly can't remember where I thrifted this from, but I know I did. And I got it because of the red color. I really like that. And I thought if nothing else, I could turn it like this and use it for a riser if I needed to. Like if this didn't need to be seen, but I needed to, you know, raise something up, I could use this box for that. But I think what I might try to do is put some little trees in it or something. I'm not really sure, but I'll play around with it and find somewhere for it with that beautiful red color on it for Christmas. Then this basket. I really, really love this basket. I think I just love the color of it most of all. So this will be going somewhere. I'm not really sure yet. It's so fun to play around with all of these things. And that's why I wanted to go ahead and film this because I am decorating and I'm needing to use some of these pieces, but I've been kind of like, oh, I'm hitting my cabinet over here. Been kind of hoarding them and waiting to film this before I put this stuff out. So I was like, I gotta film that so I can get these items out. Now I got a great deal on this beautiful red bunt pan that I am going to use as a Christmas tree skirt for like a small Christmas tree somewhere in my kitchen. I just think that that will be so fun and this red color is perfect for that. So you'll get to see how that turned out, you know, really soon when I do some decorating or a home tour or something. Who remembers these thermoses that I got for $1? Let me try to get up here where y'all can see the true color of this red. I gotta put my hand over my face so it will focus because it keeps wanting to track my face. But yeah, there's that price tag still on y'all for $1. Can y'all believe that? And this is actually a thermos brand, if you can see right there. So yeah, and then I got the big one as well. The only thing about this one, it was also just a dollar. It didn't come with the red lid like this one. So I think maybe I will just stick some picks or something out of this but yeah this one is the big one and just for size comparison here is the small one i've never decorated with thermoses before but i'm excited to try to use those somewhere in my kitchen this year okay and the last few things that i want to share with you is actually some dishes that i got and i got all of these at separate time my battery just died and i cannot remember <laughs> what i was telling y'all i was talking about these bowls and how I bought these at separate times, I believe. But look how cute they all go together. Come on camera, focus a little bit. And I thought, well, I could use these somewhere in my kitchen for Christmas because it's not just screaming red, but it's, um, even if you look at them, you know, kind of with, like with this thermos, I think it'll look good just somewhere. I don't, I wasn't really sure about these because they look more, I don't know, kind of pink to me. So I'm definitely gonna have to see. You can kind of see there. I mean, I think it's supposed to be like a reddish color, but it looks, I don't know, it looks a little burgundy to me. So I don't know, I'll probably still put them out. Yeah, that is everything that I thrifted at the very end of 2022 and all throughout the year of 2023 to go in my Christmas decor. You will be seeing this stuff all styled in one way or another. My house is a disaster right now. I have Christmas stuff just strode everywhere. I like to pull my totes out and go through everything, see what I don't want, get rid of that first, and then I organize everything. I put all, I don't know, I just do like all the greenery in one bucket, all the little Christmas trees in one, I mean like tote, and then I start kind of decorating from there. <laughs> did this video also to show you that you can find some beautiful decor out at the thrift store, even if it is things that you might have to spray paint or add a little something to, you can find some beautiful, beautiful, unique, one-of-a-kind pieces out at the thrift store. So I hope that this encourages you to go shop secondhand first before you hit the retail stores. Now don't get me Wrong. I've been to the retail stores looking for different things because I just can't find them in the thrift stores and that happens sometimes but I would have never thought I would have never bought something like this 
at a retail store. And so little things like that are just unique and fun. And something like the blunt pan for a Christmas tree skirt, I just don't get inspired when I go in a retail store to do stuff like that even though I do buy retail items and I've already been to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and all of them. <laughs> but um, anyway, I just hope that this is a little bit of encouragement for you. I know that most of y'all have seen all of these items already throughout the whole year, but I just thought it would be fun to do all of these things into one video just to kind of give you a refresher of everything that I've been thrifting over the last year. So we hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and I'll see you really soon with a brand new video. Happy decorating.